After watching this video tutorial, you will know how I create kitchen shelves in Blender from just the very basic, very, very basic 3D geometry, matched 3D camera and photo references. In case you didn't know, this video is part of my interior visualization course in Blender, which is available for free on my channel. You can find a complete playlist with other parts, link in the description field. And if you want to access all of the course project files that I've created and support what I do, of course, I share more info on that at the end of the video. In any case, my name is Lech and welcome to my interior visualization course in Blender. Hi everyone and welcome to another kitchen modeling video from the course and in this video we are going to focus on the selected element you can see here and you can see it here in the reference. So the details we're going to add to the object will be frankly speaking pretty much the same as here on the kitchen island. So the shelves you can see them divided in the reference. Uh, the white tabletops, uh, kitchen accessories, and also we need to extend the model a little bit to the outside. Um, so I'm gonna divide this part into two videos. In the first one, we're gonna do exactly the same things as with the kitchen island. In the second video, I'm gonna be adding the accessories like fridge, uh, ovens, and the grill here. I'm gonna use Choco for models for that as well, but I will also combine some of the models together in order to save myself a little bit of time and not to create them from the scratch. So let's just jump into it. Similar as with the kitchen island, I will start off by hiding everything except of my object and I'm gonna apply the wooden shader which we already applied to the staircase elements. I'm also gonna create a new shader slot and add some generic material there and apply it to the uh, to this upper surfaces here as we have in the reference. So the first step will be quite similar to what we did um, with the kitchen island, I'm gonna separate the tabletop, but before that, I need to cut an opening here for the grill. So let's just do it by adding two edge loops and removing the faces in the middle here. With that done, I'm gonna I think I'm going to focus just on the tabletop uh, right now. So I will duplicate this object, extrude it upwards just a little bit, switch to the wireframe just to see how it looks. I'm going to increase my selection by control and numpad plus and grab it and move just a little bit upwards. Maybe a little bit too much so let's decrease it and again similar as with the kitchen island I will now clean up the mesh remove the edge loop um, am I seeing double yeah so we have a face here already oh yeah because we extruded the object sorry I was thinking I need to <laughs> recreate it um, yeah, with this tabletop created, let me just very quickly mark the opening for the cooking panel here. I'm just gonna scale it, scale it within the Y axis roughly like this. And we are gonna cut the opening later when we add an object here. We also need to apply the same steps for those surfaces here on the right and on top here. So I'm just gonna do it very quickly right now and get back to you in a second. Thank you. 
with the white surfaces created, I will now focus on adding the shelf divisions here on top and here as well. But since this kitchen element is visible from both of the cameras, I'm going to unhide everything very quickly just to select my two cameras together with the shelf object and now hide everything except of them. So when I'm working, I'm also able to check out on the other camera how the details uh, work and some of the areas are not actually visible from the second camera like this area here for example and since this process is quite uh, familiar to you right now I hope uh, it's gonna be basically the same what we did with the kitchen island and the staircase element I'm just gonna speed up this part of modeling as well and get back to you in the end and discuss what I just did
So we are back to talking again. Um, if you were watching the time lapse, you might have noticed this area here in particular gave me a little bit of trouble and I simply had problem with figuring out which elements, which shelves have to be modeled and where are the divisions. And the way our model is displayed in the viewport right now doesn't help me um, either. So let's click this icon here, which gives us access to some of the model preferences. And let's go to the viewport display, select our object and click wireframe. What it does, it now draws the outlines around the, well, the edges of, of the geometry. So it's a little bit more clear right now to, and we know a little bit better what's happening. So I left those two areas here for the accessories, which we'll be adding. But uh, there is still a problematic area here at the bottom of the object. So when I switch, especially to this camera here, you can see we have this extrusion happening in this area. And I think that's a detail we shouldn't be omitting, especially the, the, the whole furnishing element look, looks a little bit too too simplistic right now. So we need to think how to add it. From the previous videos when I was uh, facing a similar situation with the staircase and with the slab where I had to cut out the openings for uh, the wooden panels in the ceiling, I simply extruded everything like this in order to create this little space underneath and I could do the same here as well but now I also need to move all of the faces adjust all of the elements we just created what if there is a little bit different way of doing that and the way I'm talking about is using the solidify tool which was previously only available in the object mode as a modifier, but in Blender 2.80, we can use it directly in the edit mode. So I'm gonna start off by deleting those bottom faces. We don't even need them, to be honest. And I'm now selecting these, these raw faces. Let's switch to the top view, go to the wireframe. And yeah, here's a surprise. When I right click, which should give me the most of the important tools available uh, in the face mode as I do with vertices, let's say, and so on. I need to press Ctrl F to have a, a separate menu with a solidify faces tool. Um, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's a feature of Blender 2.80, but just want you to know you have different set of tools under the right click and under the control F, perhaps that will be changed uh, later. Yeah, but anyway, let's now click the solidify and you can see we have a new raw of edges created, which we can move deeper, but I would say keeping a distance like that should be okay for us. When we switch to the solid view, you can now see those faces are visible from the inside of the object and we need to delete this row of vertices in order to have this piece of newly created geometry visible. So I'm just uh, rotating like that but now you can you can see it's actually visible right now. So I would say uh, that would be it for this video. I know I forgot about this grill element uh, of the furnishing on the outside. Same as with the handles uh, for the drawers, etc. But I'm gonna add those details uh, apart from the video because you already know how these are created. And I see you again when we are gonna add the accessories the grill, the cooking panel, and everything that's basically left for the kitchen. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to support what I do and get access to all of the project files that we've created so far, together with the complete Blender interior scenes and over 2000 Blender exclusive 3D models, just visit the Chocofer store and learn more about our subscription plans because these truly are the best you can get right now and probably in the near future, very near. No, the long lasting future. Anyway, this is the best money can get you if you really want to get better at Blender. Thank you for watching again and I see you in another video. Bye bye.